Hi there, it's Susan. I'm going to show you a few decor changes that I've done. Uh, a few of them are thrift pieces, and I thought I would show you how I sort of did a makeover on them. piece that I did a makeover on was a thrift piece up in this landing area atop of my stairs I had got a mirror at the thrift shop and it was a mahogany again and of course I damaged it by painting it and distressing it and I wanted that little decor at the top like one of those vintage mirrors and they're hard to come by sometimes I did find a few of them so far but what I did was I had two corbels or corbels that I had got at Hobby Lobby for a really good price. And I, I gave them a little bit of a whitewash to match the mirror. And then I glued them on with the hot glue on the top of the mirror. And I thought, this is my new style, my new idea to do makeovers on mirrors. had these frames, they were black. And I put pieces of wallpaper in it that I really liked and it makes a really nice print for the bathroom. So here I was looking for something for so long and here I had it in the house. All I had to do was paint the frames.
show it to you when I was black and I like the white better. It just makes it look more clean. The black was pretty as well, but I like white and I think that the print, I think it's like a damask print inside. I just loved it. I had bought this at home years ago, this piece of wallpaper, thinking what I could do with it and voila. So to change this up, I thought I would move this over here and use these wooden candlesticks that I had. This one from the Tattered Tulip and this one I had bought at the Vintage, no, at the Salvation Army and I just painted it. Okay. So what I do with the pillar candles, I make a hole when it's soft, when I've lit it, and it's soft, I dig a hole, see, in both of them. Somebody knocked this one over and chipped it a bit. So that way they don't burn down and um, make a big mess. I just put a little votive inside the hole. But of course I use one of these little glass, I don't think I can get it out because it's been warmed up, but anyway, you know what I mean. It's a little glass thing you can buy at Ikea to put your votive in, or your tea, your tea light and it saves me a lot of headache and mess. So I found this little box and it had a design on it and I didn't like it so I painted it all white and I'm going to use it for my converters. Hopefully they fit perfect. I thought it would be cute to add some um, sugar cubes and some jelly beans to these old vintage mason jars. So I bought this in a thrift store and it was aluminum or stainless steel, whatever it is, and I painted it white. I gave, I had to paint this uh, three times, so, because it's just for decor purposes, you're not going to use it. It's not food grade. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some pears in it. These are fake pears, of course.
oh gosh, look at this one. This is the one, I've had this for years and one of my kids, when they were little, they took a bite out of it. Just cover it up. So you can use any kind of fruit. You can, um, you can even use real fruit. You can use apples or something to put in here for decor purposes. But I have these uh, fake pears, so I thought it was a cute idea. Give it a little touch. I mean, this would look really cute for fall, right? You can even put little white pumpkins in it. 